Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install CloudFunnels on your own hosting. To do that, log into CloudFunnels, go into the membership area, I'm on the main area, and you will find a button that says something like install on your own server or install on your own hosting. Click on it and you've got some basic instructions. You can install CloudFunnels to any server that supports PHP because CloudFunnels is a PHP script and the installation is very easy. All you need to do, step one, download CloudFunnels script. Click on this button to download. It's only 25 MBs will be downloaded in just a few seconds. Here's my downloaded file and I'm gonna extract it to a folder. Click on extract here. If you're using any kind of uh, unzipping program or you can extract it to a folder, whatever way you want. And here is the CloudFunnels script that you need to get to the server. And now we're going to use cPanel to upload CloudFunnels to our hosting and get it working. Now cPanel is a control panel for hosting and I'm sure if you've hosted any websites, you must be familiar with it. It's pretty easy to use and there are a number of tutorials online so you can find a lot of learning material. Now this, this over here, it's a regular hosting. It's not a dedicated server. It's not a VPS. It's just basic hosting and I'm going to install CloudFunnels over there now. So I'm into cPanel now. I'm logged into cPanel. I'll go into files, file manager, click on it and I will open the file manager over here. Inside file file manager, I want to go into the public HTML group. That's where you put in all the files that will be available to your visitors. I'm going to create a new folder called Cloud Funnels, and this is where I will actually install the, the project. Now, if you want to install it on the root folder, if you install it in the root folder, it will be available to everyone. But I created a subdirectory and I'm going to install it on a subdirectory. So I've gone into that subdirectory already. I'm going to click on upload. And now I'm going to upload the file to the server. All right, this is my Windows Explorer. I've got the file in a folder. This is, this is the CloudFunnels file. And I'm going to go to my browser again and upload it so I can just drag and drop it over here. It's uploading already. It's going to take a couple of minutes maybe. All right, so it's fully downloaded. Now I'm going to go back to my folder and we got to reload it. We got to refresh it. So here's our folder. All right, here's the file. All right. So you can see that all the details over here and you can right click and extract the data, the content of the zip file using cPanel. So I'm going to do that now, extract, and it's going to ask you where do you want to extract. We're going to put it in the same folder, Cloud Funnels. Put, click on extract file. It's going to take another some minutes. Here are the files that it's going to extract, and it's actually working on those right now. All right, so all of our files over here now. I'm going to delete the original zip because we don't want it, and just delete it. Now we're gonna go into the folder where we installed this file. So it was, all right, so when we go there, we see this screen, this is the setup screen, and I won't blame you if it looks a little familiar because it's quite like what you've seen in WordPress so many times, you need to put in the similar details, the database host name, database username, database password, database name, port, and the table prefix. So we can do that again inside of cPanel. Mostly cPanel comes with an application called PHP MyAdmin, which can be used to set up your databases. Let's click on it and let's set up our database and we will be able to install in no time at all. This is how PHP MyAdmin looks when you load it up, click on databases. Here are the databases that I already have. I got to create a new one just for CloudFunnels. Every installation of CloudFunnels needs a new database. Now to create a new database, I got to go back to cPanel and here I will see this option called My SQL Databases. Click on it and you see an option to create a new database right over here. I'm going to create one called CloudFunnels. You can call it anyone you want. Maybe give it your funnels name. Just take a look at the other options we don't need any of that click on create database and now the database is created click on go back and we need to add a user to the database that's very important because without a user we cannot edit the database so we got to add a new user 
again i'm gonna call it cloud funnels and for the password i'm gonna use cloud funnels for now of course in the production when you put a database in the production you better have a very strong password so once you're done with that our database name is this the prefix is important click on create user i'm going to just keep the prefix over here and that done go back and now we will when we go into the databases area of php my admin and we refresh we should find our database right over here all right you can see that we have the database now and it's ready so now we can just connect it to our cloud finance installation the database host name is localhost because it's on the same server the database username is cloud funnels with the prefix of course and the database password is cloud funnels again i have made a test one database name is cloud funnels the port number by default is 330 the table prefix is used to make sure that the database has unique tables if you're putting any specific information in the database if you're modifying it then it's important or you maybe you are installing multiple cloud funnels in the same database then it's important so i'm going to leave it as is for now click on submit and now cloud funnels is creating the database creating the contents it's going to take a few seconds all right so we got an error and when i checked i found that the port number that we have to be using here is 2083 I'm going to go back, change the port number to 2083 and just click on submit again. Okay, I did miss one step. When you add a user, you also have to add the user to the database. So this time I got to select the user, then I got to select the database and just click on add. That should authorize the user for the database and we got to give it permissions. I'm just going to give it all permissions. Click on make changes and that's done too. So now I've already done that. The database is created and Cloud Funnels is now asking me for an admin user. So I'm gonna put in my name here. That's the administrator. That's all the person with all the privileges. I'm gonna put in my email address. I'm gonna put in my password here. So it's gonna be my password, something random. You gotta remember the password because it's gonna help you log in, but you can always retrieve it later. Click on submit. And if your password is weak, it's going to prompt you to use a better password. I'm just going to strengthen this a little bit and click on submit again. And that should be it. I'm ready to log in into my cloud funnels. I am putting in my email address and my password. Okay. This should work. All right. So it's logging me in now. And now I have been able to log into my CloudFunnels membership. You can see the menu on the sidebar. So before you get working with CloudFunnels, you have to actually verify and set up a license. So I'm going to put in my email over here. Now I will log into my CloudFunnels account. CloudFunnels.in. Go over there. Go into sign in. And you got to sign in with the email ID. I'm going to use Google. Log in with Google and using my email ID. So instead of membership, I have already, uh, now I've got to generate a license because I need to put in a license. I've already installed it, of course. So to generate a license, click on generate license, put in the site URL, click on generate new license, and you've got the license code over here. Copy it, paste it over here, verify it, and that should be it. So that verification is done and now you're ready to use cloud funnels all the features are available to you you can create a funnel right away and you can get started with cloud funnels so this was how easy it was to install and get started with cloud funnels it's kind of like just installing wordpress and everything is very easy step by step and i hope this video simplifies it for you